I'm Dr. Karen Vaughn, professor in the Department of Biology at the University of Oklahoma. I'll be highlighting some of the impacts of climate change on our freshwater ecosystems. Most of the Earth's water is in the oceans. Only 2.5% of water is in freshwater, and most of this is in glaciers, ice caps, and groundwater. Fresh surface water in our streams, rivers, marshes, and lakes makes up only 1.2% of all fresh water. Yet this is the water that terrestrial organisms, freshwater organisms, and humans rely on for survival. Fresh water provides many important ecosystem services for humans, including water for drinking and irrigation, recreation, and economically important fisheries. Humans are using fresh water faster than it can be replenished through precipitation. As a result, water scarcity is a growing problem and it varies both geographically and temporally. Water scarcity can lead to political instability and human conflict. Unfortunately, as surface temperatures warm in our changing climate, more water evaporates from these important sources of fresh water. This reduction of water adds more stress to an already stressed system. Climate change also will lead to increases in water temperature. We already know that lakes are warming an average of 0.34 degrees Celsius per decade. This is greater than the warming rate for either the ocean or the atmosphere. Changes in water temperature can affect both the way that organisms function and their distribution. If air temperatures were to increase an average of four degrees Celsius, the thermally appropriate habitat for economically important cold water species, such as trout and salmon, is predicted to decline by 50%. In addition, warming lakes are leading to increased blooms of noxious blue-green algae impacting water quality. The life processes of many aquatic organisms depend on temperature. For example, with increased temperatures, aquatic insects at the base of the food web may mature more rapidly and at a smaller size and reproduce more quickly. This could result in more food for fish. However, increased temperatures will also lead to increased rates of microbial activity and increased rates of decomposition of organic matter, which would result in less food for aquatic insects and ultimately fish. In both cases, warm water holds less oxygen, so water quality will be reduced. Aquatic species at the southern limit of their geographic range will face extinction unless they migrate. The ability to migrate depends on dispersal mode and available migration corridors. For example, in the Southern Plains ecoregion, many riverine species may not be able to migrate northward because they are restricted to river systems that flow from west to east. Climate change will alter seasonal patterns of precipitation and runoff. In turn, these changes will lead to altered hydrology. Many freshwater organisms are adapted to particular hydrological conditions, such as the seasonality and frequency of floods and droughts, and they time their reproduction around these events. For example, some fish, such as bull trout, lay their eggs in the fall so that they will hatch before streams are scoured by string snowmelt. Earlier snowmelt would destroy these eggs. In locations where drought conditions may become more common, there is even more concern about increased water temperatures. My research in the rivers of southeast Oklahoma shows that freshwater mussels are declining because increased drought leads to shallower water and thus higher water temperatures in rivers in the summer. In fact, we have measured temperatures over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Losses of mussel biomass and species richness have led to large losses in ecosystem services provided by mussels, including biofiltration and nutrient recycling and storage. Freshwater ecosystems are already impacted by overuse of water, land use change, pollution, and diversion. Climate change is a new threat. 